Well, every episode, every hunt we do this year, the crew has said, Randy, you got to do five really important things that were essential to that hunt. Okay. So we are on a pronghorn hunt, Matthew and I, and we're down in central Utah. It is dusty, it's muddy, it's everything else. But one of the things that you will see nonstop when we're pronghorn hunting are these pieces in front of me. And what that is, is a really good carbon fiber tripod, hopefully one that can get you up high enough so you can look into your spotter without having to bend way down. It weighs hardly anything for the size and the strength that it has. Uh, on here, uh, this tripod is the Pro Guide by Leupold. Uh, I think part number CF436. And then this is, uh, the head here is a Surui VA5. It's a pan head. It's really smooth, really good. Uh, we beat the tar out of these things. Um, and then a spotter and the all-in digiscoping system. What you'll see is we'll get on a buck. We'll zero in on him with the spotter. This here is a Leupold SX5, 27 to 55, 80 millimeter. And so you get everything dialed in and with your phone, you just choom, and there it is. It's perfect. It, it's focused. It's, you, you can't go wrong. And then you can put it on photo or video, but what you see us doing is we're always taking video and always taking photographs and we'll look at it on our phone and we'll be like, well, from this angle, that, from this angle, this, da, 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 da. And then you have them. And you can even go back to camp at night and be like, man, why did we walk away from that buck? So uh, really good sturdy tripod because the wind blows out here a lot. Good solid head where you can pan real smooth. Good spotter. And then this all-in digiscoping. We've used them all. Uh, I started using this one last year. It's, uh, it's one of those things where it's like so simple. You ask yourself, why didn't I think of that? Or how did we go so long without it? And then obviously you need, you know, whatever phone you have. So that's what you see us using a lot while we're out here glassing and looking and inspecting. And then two other things. One that is a new item for me is this go fast camper. You can see that all sides open. You can see that the, the end opens. And this tents up into a great, big, beautiful, easy to sleep in tent. Uh, but it's really firm, really rigid. And you'll see there's not hardly any dust in my, in my back end. This seal system that they came up with is really, really good. Because I've had a lot of toppers where you open it up and you almost got to shovel all the dirt and sand out of there. So really slick. The other part is you can access it from these sides. So you're not having to climb up there. You can leave your tripod fully extended, just lean it off to the side. And as quick as you open the side door, there it is. So the other thing is if you're going to go out here and you have a couple tags or you got to drive a long ways, so in this case, Matthew and I have each have a tag. So we got two tags. I shot a buck on the first day. That means we got to keep meat cold for four to five more days. So bring really high quality coolers. This here is a Yeti 65. It easily holds two big blocks of ice and an antelope fully boned out, fully trimmed up. Just put it in there. What I do, assume that, that this is camp and you'll see that the the valve stem is right here the drain valve so i put two blocks of ice on the bottom down here and then i prop it up a little bit just like this and you can put a rock under there or whatever but this does two things all the water accumulates right here if there is any water and any melting ice and when you open the valve it drips out of there. So your meat's not sitting there in a ton of water for four or five days. So just little tricks like that when you do a lot of, I guess you'd call it, 
long t long term hunts, five day hunts like we do, and you have multiple tag holders and it's warm weather. It was 82 degrees yesterday. Make sure you think about this. How are you gonna keep that meat good? How are you gonna keep it from going kinda, well, you don't want it laying in water for four or five days. You want it when you get home that that meat's gonna be excellent. So really good cooler. This CID 65, you can see they get beat up pretty bad when we use them, but uh, that's it for a really good uh, equipment system, I think, critical equipment system. Uh, we've covered all the other things in the past, rifles, cartridges, scopes, you name it. But for us, really good tripod, a head, a spotter, the all-in adapter and, and digiscope system, really good cooler, and this new Go Fast Topper. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. I've only had it now for two months. I've slept in it a few nights, but super functional and super, super strong. You can see all these braces they have in there. I'm not going to be able to hurt that thing without wrecking my truck. So anyhow, got links to everything down below. Uh, most places where we send you promo code Randy will save you some money. Some places don't give discounts on promo codes, but if you go there, the first choice is always the Go Hunt gear shop. Uh, but we got links down below. Hope this was beneficial to you. Hope you get out pronghorn hunting. Thanks for watching.